uh, sea salt here at uh, BIMS. So the commercial shellfish aquaculture lab and team uh, run by Bill Walton. So I manage a one acre research farm um, that is used for the commercial industry to come check out the equipment, uh, demo it, and then decide if they want to use that. We also have research here to address industry concerns. Today um, we'll go out on the boat, we'll bring the helicat along the boat. It's a metal piece of equipment that helps flip the oysters um, up into the drying position. They'll stay out up in the drying position um, to kill off all of the biofouling that may be on it. We'll go back out the next day, flip the oysters bags back down into the growing position um, and they'll grow down in the water for another week and we'll go back out and flip again and it helps tumble the oysters, making them round and symmetrical. Um, coming from an agricultural background, most farms are generational and they're handed down. And so coming in into the marine industry, uh, you're seeing a lot more new people start a farm themselves and hand it down. And I just think that's so exciting to see people my age out there. As an MA student here, I have a capstone. My project is cultivating a network of uh, academic research farms in the United States. So I'm reaching out to all of the academic institutions that have aquaculture, um, shellfish research farms, and I'm trying to facilitate communication um, and collaboration with those. So one step into doing that um, is first interviewing them and getting a little information about their farm. And then I'm gonna put all of that together into a story map where they can easily locate it and reach out to each other. And then the second step um, of that is using aquaculture information exchange so we can all communicate about what we're doing, what we've been seeing in different regions of the United States. Interacting with all the different farmers, especially in Virginia and our local farmers, getting to have them come out on the boat and test the equipment that we have and talking to them about their problems and their issues and also um, learning from them. They have so much knowledge that we don't have as researchers. I love to be able to help facilitate the industry and then the researchers.